Hello everybody. I'm going to try to help you uh, have a smooth lab today. So uh, you have your table one that you have written. Table one for yourself and your name, Ms. G, or your name, of course. Uh, write your own name on it. And we're going to be using this table when it's time, just like uh, the earlier video that you saw. So, <clears throat> you will also have a table two, which you want to also put your name on. These will be stapled to your lab when you're finished. Okay, I'm going to set this one aside. Set this one aside. So you will... Uh, read this lab, Decoding the DNA Code. It's kind of a cool lab. I hope you like it. So read it. Do it in pencil. Read everything. Um, I'm going to work through a little bit of this with you just in case you have some problems. So I need to zoom in. I'm so sorry, this is shaky. So, um, you are given the DNA code. The DNA opens up, and messenger RNA comes in and copies the code. All right, so this will be UCG. This will be CCC. And you will work all the way across to the end of the table. I'm just going to do these two. Okay, this messenger RNA goes to the ribosome. When it gets there, the transfer RNA will bond up to it, and the transfer RNA code will be A, G, C, G, 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 and so on. Now, you need to use table one, but we need to look up the messenger RNA, and that is called a codon. These three in a row are called codons. That's a codon. This is actually called an anticodon, just FYI. But we need to look up the mRNA in our wheel. So we're looking up UCG, which you start in the middle, UCG, and that is serine. Okay? So you can either write out the whole word serine, or we can just abbreviate it if you want. Okay, be careful with an abbreviation of glutamic acid because there's also an amino acid called glutamine. So if you have one of those, be careful. Okay, now we have to look up, again, we're looking up the mRNA. So you might even want to, you know, do something like this on your paper. All right, we're now looking up CCC on my wheel, my codon wheel. So I start in the middle. C to C to C is proline. So I write down, write down proline. Okay. Now I'm going to get a big long sequence. It will go all the way across here. Once you're done with that sequence, you then need to figure out the trait that that sequence is for. So we want to know what the body covering looks like. Now you look at table two. And you're going to find the exact sequence. Be careful because there's, you know, some similar words. So serine, proline is, are the first two. So um, you're going to look it up in your table. And uh, this starts with serine and proline, serine and proline, serine and proline, so serine and proline. You're going to have to figure out what the rest of your code is to figure out um, what the trait looks like. And once you figure it out, you will tell which one of these it is. Okay? Everybody will have the same body covering for the lab, no matter what table two you have. But all of the rest of the traits, I believe, will be different depending on if you got a pink table two or a yellow table two or a green table two or whatever it is. Okay? When you finish the lab, You'll have the whole backside filled in, and you will describe your creature for me using sentences. 
complete sentences, not just a list, please. Um, and then draw a little picture of your creature, or you can attach a piece of paper to this lab if you want, if you want to make it bigger. Have fun drawing it, make it in color, and I will be really looking forward to your monsters. Okay, staple all of your tables together to the lab. Okay, so you staple all this together at the end, turn it into the sub, and um, then you work on your targets. All right, have fun. Bye.